Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you another quick deploy bracelet. Um, it's a great way to keep a nice hunk of paracord on your wrist. And if you're not too concerned about how it looks, this is a good one because it's just a series of ha alternating half hitches. Um, and I'll show you how to do this. So I'm going to use a shackle. It's the best way to use, or the best thing to use when you're doing a quick deploy bracelet. Going to start by taking out the adjuster. We're not going to be using the adjuster on this one. All right, and we'll put the pin back in. Now to start, I have 12 feet of paracord, and I think that'll cover pretty much any wrist that you're trying to make a bracelet for. We're just going to take our paracord. We're going to go down through the the uh, shackle here. Let me zoom in just a little bit for you. We're going to go. Take our, take our ends and go down through the shackle. And then we're going to open up the long ends here and pull all the excess through. Real simple. And we'll get that little bit of twist out of there. It's always fun getting the twist out. Alright, and then we'll get that nice and snugged up there. Alright, I'm going to zoom this back out a little bit just so you can see what i got to do here. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to measure our length from where the pin is at, and we're going to go down this way. Now, let's say you're doing a 9-inch bracelet. You're going to measure from here to here, and then we're going to double our, our paracord and go back that way. Okay, so now you've got four inner strands that you're working with. So this should go from this loop here, or these two loops, from the end of that to your pin. That's going to be the length of your bracelet. Okay. Now once you get to this point, this is when you're going to start doing your design. So what we're going to do is just an alternating set of half inches just off the right side. Real simple. So we're going to take our two cords now, and all I've done is basically created my length here, and then I doubled it back up to here and folded that over. So just down, up, and then you've got your two working strands. Now what we're going to do is take our two working strands, go over the top of your four inner strands. Take this around the back, make sure you leave a loop on this side, and then you're going to take it up through that loop. And pull everything through. And then get this cinched up right up to the cow's hitch as close to that as you can. Alright, so that one we took it under this one. Or wait, which way did we go? <laughs> okay, we actually went over. So now this time we're going to go under. So you're going to alternate back and forth, over, under, over, under. So see how we took our two strands, and now we're going under the four center strands. And then we're going to poke that around and through that loop. And pull that on through. Okay, get that right up there, and snug it on up. And cinch it up. Okay, so we went under last time, so now we're going to go over. And I wouldn't be too worried about twisting up your paracord on this one. This is going to be for somebody that's out in the field, wants to make a bracelet real quick. This is one real quick way of making a bracelet. So I just went over and then came up through the loop. So now I'm going to go under again. Under, down through the loop. So you're just alternating, alternating back and forth. And what you'll get, what you'll start to notice, you'll start to see a chain on the side. So it'll be kind of like a wavy looking thing going on. All right. So now you can see the paracord kind of is shooting out of the, the bottom part of it. If it's shooting out the bottom, then that means you go under the bottom. So you go under, go around and through. Oops, I'm sorry, I said that backwards. If it's shooting out the bottom, that means you got to go over the top. It's always going to be the opposite of where that, whatever that is. So we went over the top. Now it's coming up out of the top, so we go down to the bottom. Take it around and through. 
So this design really is only going to take place on one side of the bracelet. Okay, going out the bottom, so we're going to go over the top. We can go through that loop. Still got a kind of cool design. Um, sorry, I can't do two things at once. What was I saying? So, oh, it's still got kind of a cool design, but this is more for somebody that's, you know, they just want something real quick. And it's not going to take as long as the blaze bar to do. There's quite a few quick deploy bracelet ideas that I've got that you that utilize the uh, quick deploy method. Um, did I just do that wrong? No, I think we're still good. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a few more of these quick deploy bracelets in the near future. But for now, I'm gonna finish this up. I think you get the idea, just make sure if you go over and around, the next one's under and around. You're just back and forth, back and forth, all the way down. And I'm going to get down so that I have about a loop about that size on both ends. Real small, just enough to get the, uh, the pin through. And I'll show you how to finish up this bracelet. I'll okay. be back. As you can see, this is pretty much it. It's, uh, basically, um, if you were to make the single Genoese bracelet, um, this is half of that, so if you were to do the other side, you'd have the other side um, of, the <laughs> of, the other, of the bracelet. That sounds like a John Madden quote. If you have the other side of the other side, you've got the other side. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Alright, so, let me just take a look at something here. Alright, so what you can do, if, if you want... You could tie some overhand knots in this, just to get a knot put in there. Um, then when you quick deploy, you just have two knots to worry about taking out. Um, so here are the two loops. We've got just enough room to get the, uh, the shackle through there. And I'm going to show you how to do that, because there is a trick to it. It makes it a lot easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo the shackle, take the pin out. Now instead of trying to, you know, line everything up this way and then put the pin through there, all you do is with your loops, you're just going to kind of thread your shackle through those loops and then put your pin in. And then those will end up coming back around and attach. Now this is I don't want to take this apart because this I'm actually going to go hiking this weekend and I want to take this with me. So you could cut cut this excess off. Um, in my opinion, this type of bracelet, it's better just to leave it on. Um, I will put some overhand knots in this. And what I mean by overhand knots, you just put, you know, just a regular old, you know, it looks like a pretzel. You just put a regular knot in it, just like that. And then you're just going to slide that all the way up to the bracelet. Um, all the way, you're going to just snug it all the way up so that it can't pull through. And then when you do the quick deploy, everything will pull out except that knot and the other knot on this one. You'll just have two knots to take out. But it, I don't want to quick deploy this, but if you were to, I can show you what you do. You're just going to undo, let me zoom out here. You're just going to undo your pin, remove your pin. Put the pin back in so you don't lose it. Just grab hold of your shackle, kind of get a good grip on the on the bracelet, and then you just pull pull the shackle and everything else that way. All right, that is it. Pretty basic one today. I love these quick deploy bracelets. I'm going to come up with some more of them. But uh, until then, and until next time, paracord on.